Hi, everybody. I'm back. And uh, we're going to draw another bird today. Uh, it's personally my favorite, and it's the cardinal. And I love the cardinal so much because it cheers me up when I see him on a gray day in the woods. I see this beautiful red. So be sure you have your pencil, some markers, and some paper to draw on because you're going to learn how to draw a cardinal today. Okay, I get to draw my favorite bird, and it's the cardinal. The cardinal plays a special role for people here in Minnesota. It cheers us up when we see the pretty red color of the cardinal against the white snow and the gray days. So the car I'm going to teach you a really simple way to draw a cardinal. And um, what you want to do is, again, take your pencil and you're going to draw, it looks like a half circle. Just like that. So that's my guide. Now I'm going to take my marker, i take a different one here, and I'm going to follow it down. Follow it around here. This is a really simple way to draw a cardinal. Now what you're going to do is I want you to make this type of shape right here. I would say it's like a sideways triangle. Then a cardinal's got a thicker beak, so you're going to want to draw a thicker beak. His eye is here. Now take your marker and you're going to color this little triangle shape in black. Already looks like a cardinal. We got to add the wing. Wings. We only see one of them though. So see how I almost, I just made this round top and went back here. I'm just going to draw some lines in there. This is a very simple one. And his tail comes out here. I ran out of a little room. And here's his longer legs. Now, of course, what you're going to want to do is get out your red marker and color him in all red. This is black, and he's got a yellow beak. I think it'd be fun if you drew a whole bunch of these and maybe poked a hole at the top and hung them in your windows or maybe in your room. You could make a mobile of your pretty red cardinals. So a cardinal, again, I have to say, does cheer you up in the winter. The cardinal doesn't migrate, so it's here all winter long. That's why they need um, nice, uh, full bird feeders so they can uh, keep, keep uh, well fed in the winter. Um, they are very defensive and they like to protect their territory. Sometimes, it's kind of funny, if you have a bird bath, you can see that they'll attack their own reflection in the bird bath. They um, have the most beautiful call. It's a call that you're, the very first bird call you hear in the spring. They're calling at, at dusk and they're the first ones up every morning calling. Um, just beautiful, beautiful call. They love fruits, nuts, and they even eat insects too. They feed insects to their babies, which is, doesn't sound yummy to me, but to the baby cardinal, it's great. They're named after the Catholic bishops because the Catholic bishops wore red robes. That's why it's called a cardinal. I guess one of my very favorite parts about a cardinal is there's, a myth, or maybe it's true, that a cardinal comes to you after you've lost a loved one to tell you that your loved one, wherever they are, are okay. And they help you remember that loved one that has passed on. So a cardinal is a cheery bird for us, and they live a long time. They can live up to 16 years. That's a long time for a bird. So I hope you had fun drawing a cardinal. I know, um, I think you've heard me say it about 10 times this, <laughs> on this drawing lesson. I just love a cardinal. And um, I love seeing them in the winter. So if you want to um, take care of the birds in your backyard, 
We want to keep our feeders full. But here's something people don't think about is the fact that the the bird feeders actually get quite dirty and the birds can get sick. So um, check when your bird feeder's low. Um, check it to be sure that it's clean. You may want to soak it in the um, sink for a little bit, get all the residue off, and then let it dry and refill your feeder. We don't want our cardinals sick, so keep your uh, feeders clean. And um, something that is close to my heart, I used to have a cat, <laughs> and, and I really miss my cat, but here's a, a good rule of thumb for cats. Keep them inside. Cats can do a lot of damage. Um, they are attracted to bird feeders. They know the birds are there. And we don't want our cats killing the birds that we enjoy watching so much. So follow those rules to, to attract and um, see what you can see at your bird feeder this winter, especially with the Cardinal. Thanks for joining me. See you later.